I have been using this GPT fast library for quite some time. If you are looking to speed up your hacking face transformers based models six to eight times, then I would highly suggest that have a look at this GPT fast. It really works like a magic. GPT fast was originally a set of techniques developed by the PyTorch team to accelerate the inference speed of Llama to 7 billion. And now this project has evolved a lot. This provides inference speeds boost up to 8.5%. It also supports static key value caching for all hugging face model. It has also expanded sampling functions beyond argmax in this latest release. And it also provides you debugged speculative decoding. Now, this release has really thrown it out of the park in my humble opinion. And I will be also showing you a demo as how to use GPT Fast, how to install it locally. But before that, let me show you a code which I will be using because running the code is fun, but it is also important to understand the code. I have put in the code from this GitHub repo of GPT Fast, and let me show you what exactly this code is doing. So this is a code which I got from this uh, GitHub repo and I have put it in this VS code editor. So now let's go line by line to see what is happening. Let's suppose we already have installed GPT fast and I will show you shortly how to install it. In summary, what this code is doing, this is setting, setting up a PyTorch based language model using the GPT fast library and generates text using the model and then measures the compilation time for the generation process. Now the first few lines, we are importing the libraries like OS, Torch and OS libraries use. It's a module in Python which allows the script to interact with the operating system. We are then importing Torch library. This line um, basically importing the PyTorch library which is a very popular machine learning framework. And then we are also importing GPT fast from GPT fast core. As you can see here on line number four, this um, what happens is that this is a function from GPT fast core, which is a custom built module for working with GPT fast mode. And then we are also getting the time function because we will be timing the execution of certain part of the code. And then we are getting the auto tokenizer from the transformer, which is a very popular library for working with these language models, which are the pre-trained ones. Then we are setting torch under uh, dot underscore dynamo reset at line number seven. This line resets the PyTorch dynamo mo module, which is a performance optimization module. Then we are setting the environment variable tokenizer underscore parallelism. So what happens is that this prevent issue with the tokenizer. And then we are setting the device to CUDA because I will be running out on one GPU of 16 GB of VRAM. If you have CPU, just put CPU there. And then we are defining the function argmax variation and also down below argmax one. Now these functions are used to sample tokens from the language models output probabilities. And if I go down, you can see that I will be using these GPT-2 model which are the pre-trained model. Now, then we are specifying tokenizer from pre-trained model. And then we are also setting the initial string, which this is a prompt which we will be sending. Then we are uh, using the tokenizer to encode the initial string into tokens and then move the tensor to the appropriate device. And then these two lines, NTS and max tokens, these are setting the number of iterations and the maximum number of tokens to generate. Then we have cache config where we, this is a dictionary in Python that contains configuration setting for caching and masking during the language model generation. And then of course we are calling below GPT fast model. And this is basically creating the GPT fast model with all these parameters which we specified above. And then we are doing a loop where we are checking, um, the NTS times and that is where we are measuring the compilation time for each iteration and then we are printing it out. So that is what this code is doing. Now, after this, let's go to my local system where we first install 
GPT first and then we will run this code which will download the model and then we'll run the inference with this simple prompt that write me a short story. Let's go to the local system. This is the local system which I'm using and I'm using Ubuntu 22.04. I already have Python installed and pip installed and currently I am in the virtual environment of Python. So virtual environment helps us to keep everything together separately so that it won't affect anything else. Let me clear the screen. Now in order to install GPT fast, all you need to do is to do pip install GPT fast. And then it is going to install the GPT fast. So that is done. I already have put in my code, which I just showed you here in this file. This is all the code which I already showed you. Let me clear the screen and now let me run that uh, Python file which I just showed you. So let's wait. It is going to download the model, set the tokenizer, and do all that thing. So you can ignore this warning. The model is loaded, it's generating the token, and it is evaluating the uh, inference time you can see how fast that is and it is doing it in the iteration how good is that and these are all iterations time there you go so it has written the short story which is i mean we are not worried about the output but look at the inference time as how cool and how fast that inference time is and now before i wrap up let me take you back to the code and I just wanted to touch upon these two functions, which I wanted to explain at the end, both the argmax variation and the argmax one. So both of these functions are being used to find the index of the maximum value in an array or tensor. Argmax variation is offering the additional feature of handling ties and returning all the indexes of the maximum value, whereas argmax is only returning the index of the first occurrence. So these, this is a primary um, function of both of these customs. So argmax variation just to find the index of the maximum value in the um, array of tensor, whereas argmax function is a built-in function uh, which is just being used to find the index of the maximum value in the tensor. And it is just taking an array of tensor and an optional axis parameter and then returning us the required value. I will drop the link to this GitHub uh, repo in the video description. I would highly suggest that if you routinely do inference with LLMs, then really this tool is a must. And I hope that you like the content. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please consider subscribing to the channel as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.